responsibility is on the shoulders of Asif Khan. Here we go, ball number one. Farhan has started off really well. A good, sharp, short pitch delivery onto the rib cage of Sagir. That's a very good shot. He's bowling uh, up against Sagar, who's in great form. You can't give him width. This time, Sagar. Opportunity for him, though. That's been uh, cut and cut really well over the point fielder. That'll run away towards the boundary. What a good shot from Sagar Kalyan, getting himself uh, four important runs. Now he drives it and drives it so very well. A little too full from Kuzema. And the ball has been timed to absolute perfection. Cuts it again, slashes at it, and the ball reaches the ropes at deep third. So another boundary for Sagar Kalyan. To be out there. Oh, that's taken the outside there. I'll run away towards the boundary. A lucky shot there for Sagar. Was in no control whatsoever. In the first 10, they are at 42. Oh, now it will be 42 for one. As Heather has struck gold. Well... Heather and Charger had other plans. What a good delivery that was coming into the right-hander. Trying to guide that towards a deep third and pick up a single or just place it for a single. But that was a very risky shot against somebody like Heather Ali, who's very talented. And the first blow for Team Ajman then. He's got a lot of conviction with him. Confidence is there. But he was very, very looks very uh, convinced when he takes his stance. And it was looking all the time around that he's going to finish it off. Just look at that once again. It's gone up to the third umpire. It's going to be another wicket here. Yes. Heather has picked up his man. Adnan was looking uncomfortable out there. And now he will have to depart. And the man that we were just talking about, Rahul Chopla, is going to come out to the middle. That is down the ground. That's nicely connected. This is what I was talking about. Ansh Tandon always looks for his shots. Dancing down the wicket, hitting it big. This has gone the distance. Yes, it has. Ansh Tandon unleashes himself already. This is up in the air. And in the gap, it's running towards the fence. It will beat the fielder. That's a very good over. Tossed up. Hit high. Handsome. Out of the park. This is Rahul Chopla at his very best. Welcoming Khalid Shah for his second over. With a six. He's given 10 runs in his three overs. First ball. Oh, inside edge onto the thigh pad. Mighty close and a direct hit. I think Ansh is in trouble here. That's a very good a bit of feeling. We're going to take a look at this once again. Good pick up. Good throw. Flat, hard. He's short. He looks to be short. He is gone. By a some distance. Yeah, he'll be de dejected and disappointed with that effort. I think that was a, a very casual run from Ansh. He didn't anticipate that the throw will be at his end. Sharjah a wicket in the form of a run out. 90 for 3. This one's in the slot. Straight down the ground, Rahul Chopra has uh, just beaten the fielder at long off and will be 4 runs. A risky shot. That's another half tracker and punished by Rahul. That's a poor delivery from Khalid. If you thought the other one was a bad delivery, this is even worse. Now another juicy full toss hit straight down the ground. This will be four more, so a hat-trick of boundaries for Rahul Chopra. A few from Aryansh as well. This is in the air, in the slot, and that's launched over long off, and it's gone for a maximum. They've beaten New Zealand in a T20 game. That's a good shot straight down the ground, just falls short of the boundary ropes and Rahul Chopra has looked so very good. Khalid Shah took a risk there. He wanted to get through his overs very quickly. In the meantime, this is another very good shot. This is the fourth time he has hit it down the ground in that region. An idea of the wicket. He does look dangerous and this is another good hit. Brings out the sweep and sweeps Ayan Khan for four runs. Those words. The writer in me, yes. That's another beautiful shot. And uh, I think the way he's batting in a very short while, I'm going to become a poet as well. I'm sure you were missing me when Shreya was with you. Well, that's a short pitch delivery and played well down towards fine leg. That's running away towards the boundary. Very good shot from Rahul. Another short pitch delivery. This is even better. No, it's gone straight to hand. Well, that plan has worked, Farhan. 
He wasn't amongst the wickets in the first half, but he's bowled brilliantly, and that is a big wicket, the biggest wicket of uh, this innings. Almost an action replay. It was hit in the same region this time. Fine leg was finer. And Asif Khan wouldn't drop that. That's a huge wicket in this game. And this might just be a difference between a 300 and a 250 odd. Over's gone 160 for four. And that's a mix up. Yes, it is. Faraz is not happy about it. Faraz says, it's my call. They've gone up to the third umpire here. Uh, Bales are off, yeah. He's short of his ground. Easy decision, this one, for the TV umpire. But good work done by Hamdan. Just flicking it onto the stumps, getting his man. There was no time whatsoever to crash the stumps. The only way was to flick the ball over to the stumps. Very Dhoni-esque coming in from uh, Hamdan Tahir. If they could get them out, they can get Ajman cheaply. This is up in the air. Nicely found the gap and hits it to the boundary to get off the mark. Isam. Very promising youngster. He's got the gift of timing. This is up in the air. Nicely hit. Has he timed it? Yes, he has. Isam Matiur Rab. Comes down the track. And that's gone. Has he gone all the way? One bounce. Farhan was uh, wayward in the last over. This is up in the air. Gone. Soft dismissal for uh, a promising start from Isam Matiur Rab. Well, that's a very good delivery. Not a very good shot. Got the leading edge on that occasion just wanted to place it towards uh, the onside and pick up a single simple catch that one for Fayaz another one bites the dust here we saw Mathieu Rab gone after scoring 12 of 9 deliveries a maximum and a boundary in that innings 6 wicket down 186 on the board and they've been very good in the field as well they've uh, executed 2 run outs this is a slog sweep right from the middle of the bat it's going the distance that's bread and butter for Shah Rukh Amin. So if you play well. Oh, he's bowled him. What a comeback. That wasn't required. Shah Rukh Amin, one shot too many. They've had starts from their batters. Haven't converted those starts. Look at that celebration from Heather Ali. It's the seventh figure down now. Ajman in deep trouble. 195 on board. This is up in the air. Has he timed it? I think he has. That sound of the bat. Came to us here in the com box as well. Yeah, you expect that from Zahur. Short pitch delivery. That's gone up in the air. Miles up in the air. Who wants it? The fielder settles. Lukman Faisal. That trap was set and Zahir falls for it. Another one. Yeah, good bowling. We were kind of expecting it, wasn't, weren't we? And uh, I think Sahir was expecting it as well because he was onto the back foot in a flash. Sahir departs and that was the last hope for Ajman, I believe. 207 for 8 now. That only single and could. Now, oh, beautiful ball. An inch perfect Yorker. And Zahur Khan strikes, gets the bullseye. Coming around the wicket and then the ball just shaping in. Excellent delivery from Zahur Khan. They want to clean the tail and finish things off here for themselves. Charger. 217 for 9. Well, that's a short ball. He's pulled it. It doesn't get from the middle of the bat. But Zahur trying to surprise Zahid, who himself is a quick bowler. 250, 260 is what Fahad thinks. That's another good shot. Pulled and pulled well. Along the ground this time, a lot better connection from Zahid. 9 runs off the over. Now he gets it. And he gets it right. A good length, hits the right length with the right pace, beats the defences of Zahid. And I think that was again a lose of, loss of focus from Zahid. Trying to go big, has to walk back and the innings has been wrapped up. <music> Asif Khan has been sent hey. to counter that. So... That is one advantage. The other is that he, if he gets going, he'll finish this target off in a quick time. Well, this has been played really well. Not a good delivery to start with by Muzambil. The in-dippers Shoaib was talking about. Gets it right, beats the fielder at fine leg and it'll be a boundary to start with. 
Ankur Sang, one very talented bowler, comes in. Oh, first delivery, he's picked it up, played it in the air, and that's gone all the way for a maximum. Needs to be careful. Oh, goes again. And there's a field of place for that kind of a shot. Sagir picks up a brilliant catch. Diving towards his left, and Ankur makes a brilliant comeback. Yeah, everything is forgotten for Ankur Sangwan, that previous hit. This time, there was protection and a very good catch from Sakir. I think that's a very, very good catch indeed. Running to his left, the ball was dying on to him, got his eyes and caught that ball cleanly. So Khalid Shah, well, a six, and now we'll have to sit back in the dugout and relax. Six of four for the captain of Sharjah. First wicket down for Sharjah as well. Well, that's hit. That's hammered. That is a wonderful hit from Asif Khan. Once again, that's up in the air. Has he got a hold of that? We'll have to wait and see. That's been taken. A very good catch. That's a brilliant comeback delivery from Muzammil. Asif Khan trying to go big again. He's perished. Well, I really don't want to brag, but I wanted him to bowl a little slower in the air. And he did that on that occasion. And he's mistimed it, Asif Khan. And a very good catch at long on. Taking no credit away from Muzammil. He's made a good comeback. Not afraid to flight the ball. And in return, he gets the big wicket of Asif Khan. 27 for 2 now, Sharjah. He should. He's, a, he's more of a part-time bowler. This one's been sliced in the air. Will land towards the covers. And Adnan Ulmulk will not get there in time. You miss, I hit. And there you go, the celebration from Muzammil. That was a straighter delivery. Came closer to the stumps this time. Which wasn't there, like you mentioned, a straighter delivery. That was a very good comeback delivery. Look at that. Yeah, playing for the spin and taking the top of off stump. Third wicket down for Sharjah in a spot of bother now. 39 runs on the board. Irfan walking back after scoring 5 of 11 deliveries. So well, and he's got very good temperament. He's been in the circuit for quite a while. This has been played over long on. One bounce and off she goes into the boundary rope. Good shot from Lukman. Lukman goes big again. It's in the slot. Ankur Sangwan will have to pay and pay with six runs. That was a poor delivery. 49 for three. Oh, he's gone big. Over mid on and that'll run away towards the boundary. Once again, a bowler bowling full. Oh, that's a very good comeback. A too high. No, that's been given. Nadeem Anjum thinks that uh, he's got his man in front of the stumps. Fayaz is not happy. He thinks he got an inside edge onto that, but Ajman will not complain. Muzammil, another wicket for him. Yeah, that looks like uh, it was going to crash into the stumps. Yeah, that looked like it was uh, going to be hitting the middle stump. Good decision from the umpire. I don't think there's any bat involved. Fayaz Ahmed thinks that there is, but he can't do much. 53 for 4. And that is why I say he's looked good. Because whenever there's a chance, he's not been afraid to go after the bowlers and that is another clinical hit this one's been cut off and cut away towards the deep third a misfield and it'll be four runs for Lukman so a good start for Sharjah in this over this is down the leg and nicely worked away by Lukman poor ball to start this over now he cuts it and cuts it cuts so it. very well. That's a very good shot. One of the best that I've seen tonight. Lukman. And there he goes. There he goes and this could be out. And that it is. Shoaib took his finger up long before the Empire did. We mentioned that earlier. And that's the way he got out. Yeah, a rush of blood from Lukman. And again, that is something that... Teams need to change. Players need to adapt in the long format. He got runs, not only for this over, but for the next in the first two, three deliveries. But he still went for a shot that was not very convincing and was not needed. That's nicely done. Oh, that could have been a catch. Gets his hands onto it, but doesn't. 
hold on and that has reached the boundary ropes for Hamdan Ta his first boundary now for Sharjah beg your pardon there's about uh, this partnership that's a wonderful shot cracking through the onside good pull shot from Ayan Khan he was anticipating that shot delivery that's going to be some to continue bowling is fourth over he's given away nine has been played up Ishli has he got a hold of that Ayan Abzal Khan he's certainly got the hold of that and that's gone all the way for a maximum some at the moment into his uh, Fourth over, that's a poor delivery. Down the leg side, help on its way for yet another boundary in the over. Hamdan playing a brilliant sweep shot, placing it perfectly. To make him do something that he wouldn't do otherwise. Well, that's officially played in the gap, and that'll run away towards the boundary. And they're not trying to experiment with the variation of their uh, bowling as well. And that looks like a beautiful boundary, very nicely hit. He started off well in this over so far. That's another good delivery. Watch. The dot ball or no? They've gone for oh. the single oh. overthrow and that's gone. Is it? Well, they're asking the question. They went for the extra run. That's what they say. Never run off a miss throw. A uh, wayward throw to start with, and then good covering up from Sagir. Where has he got him? Is he got him? I think he has got him. Yes, he's short there. Hamdan allowed them to get one of them out. In the form of a run out, that was the last thing that they were looking for. But that's a big blow now, Hamdan walking back. Then it is, and here we go. That could be, that could, and that's such a misfield that. <laughs> Good Yorker. No, oh, goes for another short pitch delivery that's been played in the gap. That'll run away towards the boundary, right where the match officials are. Remember when he came down, there was a lot of pressure. All this has been played in the gap. One bounce and off she goes into the boundary rope. One, what a way to get to your half century. Brilliant innings from the youngster. Performs under pressure. Short delivery. That's been played and I think he's got a hold of that. That's gone all the way for a maximum. That's a magnificent shot from the youngster. Very concerned about those 48 runs. Oh, this is a very good shot in the gap. That'll run away towards the boundary. The short pitch delivery is not troubling young Nayan. 43 more runs required. Oh, that's a brilliant shot. That's a superb shot timing. Excellent on that. Placement superb for a run against Mozambil, especially. Oh, way outside of Stam. He's gone for the slash yeah. in the air. And that's the wicket they were looking for. And uh, like I said, it was going to be a test for Farhan. That was a, a good delivery, a setup from uh, Mozambil. Bowled it wide, bowled it away from him, and allowed. Farhan to free his arms, doesn't get the connection right and now we'll have to walk back. Mozambil to continue. That's been played well. That's a very good shot from Ayan Afzal Khan. That'll run away towards the boundary. 29 more runs required after that boundary. And a slip. <laughs> and Heather has decided to launch Mozambil towards the mid-wicket. And that's gone all the way for six. That's another way of saying... 10 runs of 51 deliveries and that looks like a nice shot and that is sweetly placed and that is one more wicket down yeah important wicket again Heather trying to just finish things off quickly it's that to Sagir at mid off and well he'll uh, be disappointed that he couldn't stay there till the end nine for him another wicket for they still need 10 runs anything is possible two one nine for eight not that the run rate anymore matters. It's the semi-final. And there's another wicket. Well, what a wicket. Ayan Khan has hit that one straight back to Ankur Sangwan. A soft way to get out. But uh, this is going to be very interesting now. Nine more needed. Ankur Sangwan gets Ayan Khan. That was chipped straight back to Ankur. And, well, Ayan, what have you done? Was batting so very well. Well, there you go. A hat trick or no hat trick? The situation was different. Yeah. Ah! Round. Oh, they're asking the question, and it's been given. Can you believe it? The last wicket has fallen. Ankur Sangwan picks up that wicket. Zahur Khan cannot believe his luck that was struck in front. And look at the joy. Wow. At Ajman team, why not? They have. They have worked really hard in this tournament. They played their heart out yesterday as well and they lost the match. And today they were in to, for the win. And they have managed it. Well, what a brilliant victory this has been. They worked so hard like you mentioned and they've 
really deserve to win this game.